CASAS Remote Testing is an easy and flexible method for delivering remote assessments to your adult education students. In this video, we show a proctor preparing a student to take a CASAS reading assessment following the one-to-one -one remote control guidelines and then administering that test. Prior to this, the school has sent the student an email with instructions for connecting with their proctor using a web conferencing platform at a specific time. It describes the computer hardware that is supported and a reminder about showing their identification. This helps the process go more smoothly. In this example, the student and proctor are both using Zoom. Good morning. Good morning. I'll be proctoring your reading test today. First, let's make sure that your computer or tablet is ready. This should take about five minutes. Do you understand? Yes. After we finish that step, I'll start your assessment. I'll be online with you through the entire process and answer any questions you have. The test will be running on my computer, but you'll see the questions on your computer and type the answers. I'll be here to help, so don't worry. Do you understand? Yes. First, I need to check your ID. Can you please show it to me and say your name? My name is Ricardo Jimenez. Thanks, Ricardo. Next, let's check your internet connection. Uh, please open a web browser. Got it? Okay, please type in this link. www.speedtest.net And click Go. Is it running? Tell me the numbers when it's done, please. Uh, 52 download, 11.5 upload. Great, that will be fine. Now please close that browser. And next I'll need you to close any other applications that are open on your computer. But please be sure to leave Zoom running. Let me know when you're done. Got it. Let's do a quick screen share so I can confirm everything is closed and ready to test. I'll stop sharing my screen and you click on the green Zoom Share Screen button and select All. Okay, that's fine. You can stop sharing. Click the red Zoom Stop Sharing button. Last step before we get started. I need you to show me that your desktop has no papers and that there's no one else in the room with you while you take your test, okay? Um, please pick up your computer or your webcam and show me the whole room that you're in. Yeah. Move it around so I can see all of it. Great, thank you. Let's try to use the remote control functions next. First, I'm gonna share my screen with you. Can you see the eTest login screen? Now you're gonna make a temporary change in Zoom so you can use my computer. In the Zoom toolbar, do you see view options? It might be up at the top. Yes, I can see it. Please click View Options and select Request Remote Control and confirm it. Try moving your mouse and clicking. This is how you'll answer questions on your test. Yes, that works. Would you like to practice answering a couple test questions using your mouse? If the student says yes, the proctor loads the e-test sampler. The student clicks through several questions to practice. If the student says no, then you may continue to the assessment. Okay, now your computer is ready. Before we start, I need to review the five rules with you. You need to answer yes or no to each question. Do you understand? Yes, I understand it. First, you'll need to keep your webcam on during the test. I'll be watching while you take the test, and if you have a question for me, you can just wave your hand. But just know that the video will not be recorded. Do you understand? Yes. And then number two, is anyone else in the room with you? For test security, you must be the only person in the room when you're testing. Okay, yeah, nobody else is here. Number three, will you take the test by yourself? No helpers. Yes. Okay. Number four, you cannot use notes, books, or your computer to find the answers. Do you agree? Yes. 
And finally, number five, you cannot take a picture, copy, or share any test prompts, questions, or answers. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay, we're done with the rules. Please turn off your cell phone. Can you show it to me so I can see that it's off? Great, thank you. All right, let's get started with the test. The purpose of taking the test is to find out what you need to learn. It's important that you do your best on the test. You should be able to finish the test in about one hour. And if you do not know the answer, please do not guess. Instead, just continue to the next question without answering it. If you finish early, you may review your answers before ending the test. Do you have any questions? Nope. Is this your name? Yes, that's me. Great. You can go ahead and start the test. While the student is testing, the proctor is watching the student's movements and the room around them. The student should stay seated and no one should enter the room. The proctor can see the student's progress answering the questions via the CASAS e-test session manager console. Okay, I'm done. Yes, I can see you're done with the test from my computer here as well. Great, so uh, go ahead and click the log out button. Do you have any questions before we end our session today? Nope, I'm just glad I'm done. Great job, I'll send your results to your teacher and I'll go ahead and end the Zoom session now. Take care, bye. Bye bye. As you can see, CASAS Remote Testing is an easy and flexible method for delivering remote assessments to your adult ed students. On our website, you'll find detailed documentation and other training resources. Please be sure to refer to them often. The guidelines documents are especially important. They contain proctor scripts as well as the technical and environmental requirements for remote testing. Many different devices have been approved for proctors and students. This chart shows the current list. If you have any additional questions, please email us or call. We are here to assist you. Thank you for choosing CASAS for your remote assessment needs.